When a person plays a first person game, the brain processes the experience as if it were part of real life. Sensory input, visual, sounds, and motor actions through controlling a character activates many of the same neural networks involved in interacting with the physical world. The brain does not draw a strict boundary between virtual and real. Instead, it responds to incoming signals as though they reflect genuine experiences. Actions taken toward other characters in the game are processed as models of real behavior. Neural circuits linked to empathy, aggression, motor coordination, and decision making become engaged. In fact, when a player inflicts harm on virtual characters, the nervous system partially registers it as if the action were their own, even though the conscious mind recognizes it as just a game. On the subconscious level, the experience can feel strikingly real. This is why games can trigger such powerful emotional reactions, fear, excitement, pleasure, or even guilt. For the brain, there is no absolute boundary. What matters is the experience itself, along with the actions and their consequences. These responses are integrated into cognitive and emotional frameworks, much like experiences in real life.